Hello dear students, today we will discuss about an interesting topic. This is about those students who are apparently brilliant in their 10 plus 2 or intermediate what we call scoring 90%, 95% and when they come to CA intermediate or maybe in subsequently CA final, they actually struggle. A lot of them take multiple attempts to pass the examination. Why is that the brilliant students or we may call them intelligent students, see education or marks is not equal to intelligence but still brilliant students as you call them or you call them intelligent students or you call them studious students, above average students, this category of students when they do very well in the 10 plus 2 or intermediate examination, they struggle a lot in CA inter examinations or CA final examination. Foundation somehow they manage and if you look around, you will see a lot of your friends falling into this category. Why is that the case? What actually happens? That is what I am explaining in this particular video. I myself am a student who has stopped the district in 10th, who has stopped the college in 12th and also secured all India ranks 1, 4 and 2 and as I looked around and today also if I look around, I see a lot of students, you know, performing very well in the school or college and then suddenly dropping down when it comes to CA examination. Now what are the reasons for this? There are 2, 3 fundamental reasons and before that, I would like to share with you what my teachers used to tell to me. So my accounting teacher in my 12th standard, uh, she made a statement. Uh, Suraj, uh, you should not take up CA because this is a course for someone who does hard work, okay? And I don't see you doing hard work. I was like, what, what does that mean, ma'am? Why are you, you know, making such kind of comment? So what she said is, students like you, they, they understand things pretty fast and you don't revise a lot, you don't practice a lot. You, you know, study in the class, go back, finish the homework and then, you know, just before the exams, you do, you know, a day of study and then you come and write the examination this approach will not work in the CA examination. So that is one, you know, one statement by one of my teachers. Another teacher who told me was, you know, why don't you take engineering? Because that is where, you know, you will have a better success rate because even though you have topped the district, there is no guarantee that you will be successful as a chartered accountant. You will pass the CA exams. It is a career which is easy to get in, but very difficult to get out. So these two statements were like, you know, Actually, I still remember, you know, though, though it has been more than 15, 16 years, I still remember these statements made by my teachers. Now, why is that? Such students who are doing really well in their school or college, they are not able to perform well in the CA exams. First, number one reason is laziness. By design, such students are lazy. Most of them, I'm not saying all of them. Even I was a very lazy student till my 12th standard. I, you know, buckled up my shoes only after I started my CA foundation preparation because I realized it was not the same game, right? So such students are actually lazy. Why are, why are they lazy? Because they can understand things faster. They don't need to practice a lot. They think they can remember everything. They think they can revise in one day and write the exams. It will work in a 12th standard. It will work in your BCom examination but it will not work for your CA examination. For CA exams, you need dedicated time of 8 months to 12 months of preparation for CA intermediate. It is not a T20 match, it is a test match, right? It actually tests your patience, tests your preparation levels, tests your planning. So you have to have that habit of preparing for long duration of time. Not that you know, you'll prepare one day and you'll write the exams. That does not work in CA intermediate. That is one problem. Second challenge is that the students who score very well in 10th or 12th, they know that if they prepare from this, this part of the syllabus, if they complete some model test papers, they will actually succeed in the examination. They will score brilliantly in the examination. That does not work in CA. CA in CA, the questions can come from anywhere and everywhere, right? And it is not that you have a set of 10 questions or 20 questions, you remember those questions and you reproduce them in the examination. Learning by heart will not work in all the subjects of CA. So that is the second challenge. In your school, maybe it may work. In your, you know, 10 plus 2, maybe it may work. But in CA exams, that does not work, right? So that is another challenge where we try to be selective in our preparation and that actually hampers our study, right? So that is one. The third thing is overconfidence, right? So even I, after my All India Rank 1 of CA Foundation was very, very overconfident that I have conquered the world and you know, I can do anything and everything. Now CA is nothing, you know, there, are, there have been comments like CA is easier than 10th. So that becomes the attitude. And when that becomes the attitude, when we become overconfident, our preparation gets hampered. When we believe that we can conquer the world, we can do everything right, that is where the problem starts, right? So that is another issue which comes up with this category of students or 
it may come with any other category of students as well. So that is one more aspect you know which causes students to not be successful in the examination. And the last one you know last one and very important one is all of these students they would not have tasted failure in their school or college okay because brilliant students you know toppers of the class and they have not seen what a red mark in the mark sheet means and first time when they are exposed or when they are at the risk of failure see the moment you see the risk of failure the moment you see the danger confidence starts getting hampered so one side is overconfidence second side is second side is confidence getting hampered you know confidence becoming low because suddenly you realize that this is a course where there is a chance of failing and when there is a chance of failing you start playing safe like what happened in the India Australia match and then suddenly you realize that you are not able to perform well and you do not succeed in the exams then the confidence get hits much badly and you again try to appear and you are not successful again the confidence gets hits badly so that is where it becomes a chain so confidence when it starts becoming lower when you start becoming fearful of the examination you will not be able to perform in the best manner possible these are the things which nobody would tell you nobody would share with you but i'll tell you from my own experience there is a point in time where i thought you know after even after you know clearing ca inter with air4 it was too much of a burden stress pressure pressure of performance and actually i had you know you know taken a break from studies written cat and then again came back and wrote ca final so such things have happened right so for these kind of students and also for other students who are watching this video these are few things you have to keep in mind and you have to handle them well to be successful in the examination remember it is not a t20 match it is a test match don't be overconfident prepare well revise well don't be selective put in all your hard work you have to put 101 percent of work that is required only then you will be successful in the examination